<laughs> All right, last P, but then I'll leave you guys alone. All right. I'm getting sick of the, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a middle-aged queef, you know, I'm an old man. I'm getting a little sick of the guy who hates another guy just because he's better than him. You know, you go uh, talking to a talking to a dude, and I go, boy, that uh, that Bill Johnson's a good-looking guy, and he goes, oh yeah, I'm like, yeah, he's a really handsome guy. He's like six-two, built, and he goes, you know what? Fuck Bill Johnson. Like someone's been hanging out with DeRosa. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just feels a little little hackneyed and easy. Like, oh, this guy's great in a bunch of ways that I'm not. Fuck him. You hang out with people who drink too much. That's yeah, why. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Bill Johnson's working. He's going to the gym. He's yeah. working on himself. You're hanging out with a guy who's just firing back tequila like fucking pussy. Right. right. Fucking I just, hate that guy. I don't get that mentality. Like he's doing better than me. Well, then he, I hate him now. Like, how about you hate yourself? I don't know. You yeah. go work out. No, I totally know the type of guy you're talking about, and uh... <laughs> like he didn't do it. Like he, he's... It's just when you when you're still bitter at a certain age. Yes, it's tough to be around. Exactly. Just accept the situations. Accept yourself. Yeah. Or or turn it inward. Oh, I gotta I gotta step it up. You know, we saw it a lot in the early days of comedy. Hey, Bob got a Netflix special. Oh, fuck Bob. Yeah. Well, Bob's better than you. Maybe. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I think when you just you just can't fucking think like that in any no. in any facet of your life, or you're fucked. Like I mean, we we were fucking angry, but we fuel sure. it. we we use it as fuel. We fucking, exactly. We fucking and That's the key. Uh, but you know, you it. definitely uh, it's easy to fall into that trap it if is. you don't watch yourself and if you don't have friends who who call you out for it. Right, right. Because you don't want to. I remember Bill Burr once said to me, he goes, don't ever fucking be the bitter guy. No one wants to be around that guy. It's it's like a fucking fish that stink. It yep. follows you. It's kind of like having hiccups, you know? <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's fucking, it's bad. Com completely agree. Bill Burr had the best advice. He was uh, doing some show. He was opening for a guy. Oh, I can't remember the guy's name. He's super funny. Boston legend guy. Don and Gavin? No, no. He's in a bunch of movies. He's a big actor. Lenny Clark. No, no. Fat, kind of fat guy. Really funny. Ah, oh, shit. Tony V. Yeah. I can't believe I pulled that out of my ass. Tony V. And they're sitting there smoking cigars after a show. Bill, there he is. Bill Burr looks up to this guy. He's obsessed with this guy. And Bill Burr is smoking a cigar, and he's feeling pretty confident. And he goes, yeah, you know, Tony, all this network. And I'm a real comic. I don't like to network and schmooze. And I hate all that shit. And, you know, I'm just going to write good jokes and fuck, fuck, fuck networking. And Tony V goes, get good at it. And he goes, ah, I'm just not good at it. He goes, then do it. And he was like, oh, shit, you're right. Like, instead of just bitching about it, and it is kind of a part of the business, so just I know you don't want to, but go get good at it. That's it. Yeah, Deal with it. Yeah, that's a good point. I remember, uh, by the way, I remember you just made me think of a story. I was On my birthday, Vecchio and I were smoking cigars outside the cellar one night, and David Tell comes from behind me, and he goes, you had a good set, but it wasn't that good. Oh! <laughs> reality check. <laughs> Great fucking, great thing. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> so this may sound a little naive. Uh, explain the difference between what burr is and bitter because i i don't think what do you mean his comedy is like you know what i hate dude it's like a lot of that i mean it's uh, i'm diminishing a little bit it's a highly elevated well, that's, version a, that's of that. an act we're talking about in real life oh i thought you're talking about talking, material i mean off stage that i think people forget and this goes for any career you choose i think is you just want to be somewhat pleasant to be around of course so people want you around i mean there are comics who mark and i think are hilarious that we wouldn't want to tour with just because of their fucking personalities. Totally. And that's almost more important than your act. The same oh sorry, I thought that was our guest. The same with the feature. Like a lot of guys, can I open for you? And I think, hey, this guy's not bad, but can I hang out with this motherfucker right, for right. a weekend? Ugh. Green room, lunches, airplane. drinks, airplane, the whole thing. Good movie. So yeah, it's a, it's a big part of it. A lot of this business is hanging out, talking, shooting the shit, chopping it up, trashing people. And you were always a good hang. You got to you you hope. You a good hang. Yeah, I mean, that it, it's important, especially when you're young, too. It's like, I remember opening for people young, like, I'll watch their set. I'll be like, oh, I have a tag for you. If, if that's, a, you know, you're not, you don't want to disrespect them if you accept tags. I came up with an angle for this or maybe another line. But I think a lot of comics are just like, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to get drunk in the green. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, it's good to it's good to care. It is and to show care. you care. Totally. I yeah. think there became a period where it became cool to not care. 
in like the hipster rooms it yes. was like you go up there and you don't give a shit and you're like here's some new shit i thought of you're like reading, <laughs> you know you almost do better when you're you, you, you just go up, you have to go in those rooms you have to read your a material off of the set list as yeah it's all new you're like here's some shit i was kicking around it's my closer uh it's all defense because you can't fail if you didn't try exactly you know? and it's but, all fear-based but it became cool yes to not try and it's like I, mark and i used to talk about this we're like would these rooms respect george carlin who's almost doing a monologue up there right and it's so finely tuned <laughs> would they be cool with that totally or would they be like man this guy's trying too hard i know and all the comics they like pat Oswalt and maria bamford these people bust their ass and worked hard and wrote and got up yeah. and did the road so like they're trying yeah. i know you worship them but they tried so maybe you should try yeah but yeah you were always very professional too like you were always trying to not be in people's way i was more of a mess no but, i thought uh, you were good man i thought you were you were uh we all made mistakes. I mean, I remember when I missed Amy Schumer's tour bus. That was fucking, yeah. She had, well, a running she, man she had on police the detail. Because <laughs> it was like a college gig where she needed security. This was like a train wreck. She was yeah. white hot. Huge. And uh, yeah, and I missed, I, just as Mark tells me I was professional, I was drinking with one of her brother's bandmates in the uh, room and I missed the car. Yeah. And I'm in like Nike high tops. I can't run in these shits. I'm sprinting <laughs> after a, a tour bus. And she was not happy with oh, me. Oh, yeah. You looked like a psycho fan chasing the bus. <laughs> Amy, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but to me, you know, she obviously pulled over eventually, but that's kind of a lesson. She didn't pull over. They had to pull over at like a gas station. I had to get a ride. Oh, was that? Yeah. Oh, it was not. A, it was a low point for me. I was not pleased with myself. Yeah. Because no one gives a shit how well you do on stage as an opener if you make mistakes like that. True. So I, I, I learned a lesson. 